Hello all, this is the first video for All Glass 1 and All Glass 2. We're going to be going over the parts itemizer and how the DDLs react. Please watch the Anatomy of CRL series for a general overview of the functionality of the sheet. Uh, so let's get into it. The rails are figured and the vinyl is figured just from the inputs. Uh, the setting blocks are also figured. The only thing you have to do is optimize. Uh, before we do that, let's get an idea of what we're working with. Uh, so if you have five eighths or three quarter, we have three, um, the suffix of three, four at the end, two and five sixteenths typical rail is not available. The U channel goes up to two and an eighth from I believe one and seven eighth. Uh, when you have three quarter or one half figured, the same um, vinyl is applied and it is included with the rail. Uh, so if I were to go to three eighths, this will then populate. And because we haven't chosen the correct one here, it reads NA. Available in the bottom and top rail is the one and five eighths wide U channel, one of them is one and seven eighths. Uh, the vinyl is included for all of these if you're at one half. If you're doing a U channel, you have to purchase the vinyl separately. So let's make sure. Realize here that this is the problem because no input is highlighted that I have to go and re-figure uh, this. So it's on three quarter because I haven't changed it yet. It's the nature of a DDL, dependent drop-down list. So we're going to go with two and five eighths, at which point it highlights it. The NA is still exists here, so we have to do it here. Two and five sixteenths square. So because it's three eighths, I'll just demonstrate again. Uh, the vinyl has to be figured. If this were to be half inch, the vinyl is included. Um, rail end caps are basically taking, well, not basically, it is taking the run quantity and multiplying by two. Uh, so if you were to figure your own amount of end caps, uh, it will be less than, put that at zero to, to demonstrate, 10 is twice five. That is the most you will ever need. Generally, you don't have to change that. That's the nature of a estimated for review. It's generally more than what you need. Um, I'm just demonstrating here the percentage, you know, it's actually three. Uh, so let's optimize the 10 foot stock length and the 20 foot stock length. Realize that if you have a clotted finish, it does not come in 20 foot. Okay. So let's optimize the both of them. It will then, uh, create the cut sheet, put in the value here and populate a nominal value here, I'm sorry, a, a monetary value, at which point you can choose whether you want to use 20 or 10 feet. So what that did was create the cut sheet. So 52 is less than 54, even if it wasn't less, if you wanted to use you know, 20, of course you would. Uh, so delete AG20, we'll get rid of this cut sheet, as well as get rid of this value. You can go and just get rid of the value and retain the cut sheet by doing that, or you can do both. Just to do it again, delete, we'll get rid of it, and eliminate the value. Uh, you have the opportunity to, um, you may need less bottom rail due to the doors. Uh, I forgot to put in doors, we'll put in uh, you know two pair and a single. Uh, that populates, we'll get to uh, labor in the next one. I went over the DDL, which is short for dependent drop-down list spy here. Um, there's the percentages, we'll put in uh, 20%. Um, and we will then realize that it's apples to apples, 18, 0, 18, 0. And it follows suit with the remainder. 
print CRL will get rid of the zeros and it will print for you. Uh, I already have one in there named demo. Uh, so I just made it something other. It will return saying you cannot create it if it is already in the folder that you're trying to do so in. Uh, here's the RFQ. So I, as you can see, it got rid of the zeros. Your due date is there and all of your information. Looks very nice. And that is it for this video. The next one we will be going over install. I'll be specifically talking about the purple and going through that. Thank you for watching.